They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to... And this will be caught at the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. Well, you normally talk about the mobility and the accuracy first, but the arm strength, that's what can turn Russ into danger, Russ. And I'm really not sure what was more impressive about that throw. Was it the distance travel or the accuracy involved? Because I'm going to tell you straight up, when you're trying to hit a guy in stride that far downfield, there's nothing easy about it, but he sure made it look easy there. And the final number of the next-gen stats, that ball traveling a full 59 yards through the air. Throwing again, Wilson. He goes right back to Metcalf, this time complete. Boy, pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow... And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf there to make the grab. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky back onto the field. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left for first and 10. Play action. It's Wilson. Flushed out right. 20. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he's finally taken. All pass interference. And somehow you're going to decline that. I'm penalty. so confused. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawks touchdown. DK Metcalf, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one handing Look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right? And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawks touchdown. DK Metcalf on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from now. AJ Terrell on the cover. Noise shifts past him. Wilson slings this out to Metcalf. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a gain of 34. What a this. Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen to fill up. And this will be caught by Metcalf. Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. A sensational one handed grab in the end zone for the score. Looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl every year. <laughs> Field position inside the 10. They'll get this out wide to Metcalf. Now he's tackled a group of about 50 other men that are over 30,000 career passing yards. So look, he's not at the top, but that's pretty good company. And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And this is more of the same right here. These guys have definitely been the aggressors here in the first half. They push the envelope in terms of play calls, and that's reflected in the score. And now they're in a position to widen this lead. Yeah, and that throw traveling an even 64 yards in the air. Second down. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf, 31 yards. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more. 
They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes this thing. Big first half here as they come up on first and goal. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf as time expires in the first half. A gain of six there on first. Second and to throw again on second down. Wilson, he'll find Metcalf. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across. Expectations. Was actually upset that he went in the second round, not the first round, but quickly proved everyone wrong who didn't take him prior. 900 yards receiving, seven touchdowns, and looks exactly like. They go play action now. Wilson, he'll take his shot for the end zone. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf, 36 yards. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. Doesn't matter. Play action. Now Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. It's a big point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. DK Metcalf. 26 yards. And this offense continues to pour it on. So a one-handed grab in the end zone. Nothing much more rewarding than that for a guy catching it. Not at all. And with what we just... Quarter action, to this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. Uh, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he gets this to two. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Another big play as they get 20. Get it most of the time. And he got it there. Forced out to end zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf there to make the grab. And this offense is running away with this one. And that, boys and girls, is an NFL record sixth touchdown reception. The record has stood since 1950. What a game. How about that? Because so many. Off the play fake. Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 32 on the play. I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for him during this game. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the numbers here don't lie. According to the next-gen stats, he topped out at an even 22 miles an hour. But now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It's Excellent field position thanks to the interception. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he's going to look that one in one-handed. What a catch for the touchdown. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful. As this offense gets set to take over. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. 15 yards is the pick up there in the drive, starting very nicely. First down. And this is caught. 
I think he got that with one hand. I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's three yards. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very out inside. You're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. The offense gets ready to take over. Quick throw here, that's complete. But you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Touchdown. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is... You stop us, we're not supposed to pull back ourselves.